Welcome to the video, today I'm going to show you how to do the locked on stabilization effect with the so called Beats by Dre ad style. I call it that way because I first recognized it in an older Beats by Dre ad that Daniel Schiffer made a very famous tutorial on it about two years ago and he showed how to do it with a tracker. Today I'll show you how to do it manually in Final Cut Pro X without any plugins. I did this effect for an ad I made for an online sports fitness course which you can watch right up here. Anyways, let's start with the tutorial. In my example as you already saw, the object that I want to lock into to the middle of the frame is this basketball that the person throws up in the air and then catches it again. So the idea is that you of course try to shoot it so that the camera already follows the movement of the object you want to lock in the center but you will quickly notice that you probably don't have the precision to do it exactly for a longer period of time. That is no problem though, I'm gonna show you how to do that in post. Also it would be great if you shoot in the 4K resolution or higher because we're gonna scale the clip up, in my case to 130%. This of course depends on the accuracy you had while tracking the object during the shooting process. Then I used the forms option in the generators tab, put it above everything and shortened it to the length of the clip. We use this to accurately frame the ball in the center. Then we hit the checkbox for the fill option, so we just have the outline of the circle. Then I scale the circle down to 25%. Next we select the layer with our shot, hit the transform option and set a keyframe for every option. Then we frame the basketball or your object or subject right in the center of the circle, which we use as a reference point. Then we go frame forward, frame it in the center again, go forward again and then we repeat that until we're at the end of the clip. I then also scaled the circle layer down even more to exactly fit the basketball, just to do it more accurately. Then we do that over several frames while I also readjusted the circle layer every now and then. We of course don't need to keyframe the circle layer or care about it at all, because again, it's just for reference. Once we're done with that, we do the most important thing to tie everything together, which is putting a layer of motion blur over everything and then we're done and left with this result. And that's already it from this quick tutorial, I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and also consider subscribing for more amazing filmmaking content just like this video right here. You can watch the final ad right here, more final cut tutorials right here, more after effects tutorials right here, you can subscribe right here. What can you do here? It's just a surprise. Hopefully I see you next time, goodbye!